The U.S. spends more money per GDP on capita than many developed countries, but they don't have better health outcomes. Yeah. And they're just drowning in debt because of how much their health expenditure is going up. And the reality is, like you were saying, people aren't going to... It's Yes, I think I think the concept of people promoting exercise, health, and healthy living is great. Yeah. But the reality is it's really hard to get people to change. And the environment yeah. is obesogenic, meaning it's yeah. set up... Let's be honest, it's set up for failure because of just the accessibility of processed foods mm -hmm. and the way the environment... Massive is. calorie foods, you know. And, and the advertising... Well, yeah. 1,500 you calories. You know, in, 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 in uh, I think, Netherlands, they banned direct-to-consumer advertising of sugar to children, uh -huh. which is great. It's a great start. And, and Japan, I think, did that as well. Uh -huh. So there's, there's starting to be finally this notion that, hey, processed refined foods like sugar is really, really bad for you, and it can lead to food addiction. And what are the obesity rates in the U.S.? Is 40%, I, I believe? I mean, I think overall, some states are higher than yeah. others. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. stunning. It, it, it's, it's absolutely stunning and, and, and catastrophic. So what we're doing is we're trying to build resiliency in people's body so that they can get the benefits of healthy living without necessarily doing healthy living. So mm -hmm. it sounds kind of crazy, but that's what gene therapy is all about.